Hey everybody, I'm here today with a comparing video, this time between two 45 records, which are the, um, the Beatles singles 45, which this one has two of their singles on it, and then Ringo Starr's 45, which are singles from his album Photograph, and then this one has singles that come from the past masters, so yeah. So anyways, I got these two both for Christmas, and right off the bat, they're pretty similar. They're both the same length, and these are called 45s because it has the singles on it, which is why these are smaller records. The full-size record, the album, the album records are the full-size ones, which is the majority of the ones I have. I do own two other 45 records, but those I'm going to talk about in, in another video which is video number three for comparing videos. But anyways, this one is two of the Beatles singles on it, which is, um, I'm trying to think. One is Day Tripper, the other side is We Can Work It Out, because they were released together. And then both of these are used records, as you can tell, because they have scratches on them. So these are used, and also, for some weird reason, this one has writing on it. It's called Trip. It says Triple Swing on it. I don't know why. And then it shows the Capitol Records right there. And then some deep licensing right there. And this was recorded in England, of course. And it was sold at McLean Music Inc. Incorporation, which I believe that's where it was created. And then it shows some more licensing details. <coughs> And then this one has a sunburst color, the the cover for the uh, singles, which is pretty cool. I do like that color. And I believe Day Tripper was side one. We can work it out with side two. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it was. And it actually shows the length for how long the song is. Day Tripper's two minutes and 47 seconds. We can work it out 2 minutes and 10 seconds. I believe that's what the actual recording was. I could be wrong, though. They both have four fives on them. I don't know. I'm going to have to Google search after this video to see if Day Tripper side one. I could be I could be wrong because for some weird reason, this one doesn't say, tell me if it's side one or two. And then this is Ringo Starr's two singles from his album, from his solo album, Photograph. Uh, and of course, it shows Ringo on a star as a in, little inside joke. <laughs> and then, um, is this side one? Yeah, I believe side one is Photograph. Side two is um, Down and Out. It's interesting how both these records show how long the song is. Like, Photograph is... 3 minutes and 59 seconds, which is almost 4 minutes, which is pretty crazy. And then Down and Out is um, 3 minutes and 1 second. Huh. And then it shows the year 1865, which is interesting because this wasn't released in 1865. Maybe the company was founded then. I could be wrong though. I don't, I don't know why it says 1865 on it. Because it says the licensing for Apple Records, which is 1973, which I believe was recorded that year. Because I know Day Tripper and We Can Work It Out were both recorded in um, 19, 1965. This one, I believe, was recorded in 1973. I could be wrong. And then, it's, and then it gives the credit... For photograph, which says orchestra and chorus arrangement by Jack Nitschke. I apologize if I pronounced that wrong. Engineer Bill Skinney. Again, I do apologize if I pronounced that wrong. And then this was produced by Richard Perry. And then, yeah, photograph was produced by Richard Perry. Down and Out was produced by. George, both George Harrison and Richard Perry. So yeah, and then the the cover for this record is um, black. It's like fully black. 
so that's another difference. Um, and then I'm trying to remember something else I forgot to point out for the Beatles records, obviously. Day Tripper and We Can Work It Out, it was produced, it doesn't say it, but it was produced by um, George Martin. And then these two songs were written by, of course, John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Because it's credited to Lennon and McCartney. That's what it says on there. And I don't know what triple swing means. I gotta look that up. Because I don't get who wrote that, but it's pretty interesting. But I'm trying to figure out what I'll say. So yeah, and it's just stereo on this one. And then one more thing I gotta mention, this is the sleeve it came with, it's just a paper sleeve. Which these things slide in pretty easily, they slide in and out. It's just a paper sleeve. Which is what it came in since these two records are are both used records. But uh, yeah, and that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.